Welcome, they call me Big Hurt, and on this channel you will see basic motorcycle install videos, wind therapy, vlogging, just our motorcycle life, enjoying each other's company and meeting new people and going to new places. My adventurous side exploring life with my not so adventurous wife, but we enjoy doing things together and it's a match made in heaven. Hey, welcome back. It's another DIY. I'm gonna show y'all how to do the three hole change. Uh, I wanted to make this channel, a lot of it, just to not only the motor vlog, but just show guys how to, or gals, show everybody out there how to do basic service to your motorcycle. Uh, you've seen stuff from the uh, lights. Uh, this will be the first time that I've done a three hole since I started the uh, channel. But, I already got it lined down. I got my stuff out. I always just get the red line uh, pack. Now it comes with the filter, which I don't need the filter anymore because I got the flow filter and I'll show y'all how to actually use it and clean it. But uh, it comes with everything we need. Comes with the primary, the transmission and the oil. And it comes with some fuel stabilizer. Uh, I think that's what it is. I think it's fuel stabilizer, but it comes with something for the fuel also inside the box. Uh, I've already got the tools laid out. The only tools we need is a 3 8 socket and a T27 I think it is to take the primary cover off I'm gonna get down here and try to show y'all before I get my gloves on they are they are side by side there's one and there's the other one what I did, you can hear the motor probably popping and crackling. Uh, what I did was actually let it run, then rode around, did about two miles, give or take. I wanted to make sure the motor was good and hot to make sure it was gonna drain good. I've always done that even on my cars. It is gonna be a little warm, but I'm going to go ahead and start draining the fluid out. I bet it's five, it. yep. The one good thing about it, they both are the exact same size. So, try to make sure I got my rag just in case. Then when I do, I come up here and actually crack the cap. Just helps it flow. Yep. For the transmission plug, it's 3 8 Or not the plug, but where you fill it up at. Just so I'll show y'all, right here, of course, is the oil dipstick engine oil. And right here is for the transmission. Take these plugs, check them, see how they look. And you don't necessarily need a lift. It would be nice to have one, but honestly, I still use the, uh, you uh, do it on the jiffy stand. Now, the one thing I have noticed that when you do the, that was, put that over there, transmission, that was the oil. But uh, one thing I have noticed when you do it on the jiffy stand, when you go to fill your primary up, you need to be careful and put it either on a jack or have somebody sit it upright because it might flow back out. Now, what I'm about to do now is remove my flow oil filter. It is a 11 16 head. Shouldn't be much oil in it, but Now what I'm about to do is get back under and put all the drain plugs back in for the transmission and the oil. Of course, I can't put any oil in it yet because I uh, ain't got an oil filter on. So, while that's still air drying, I'm gonna go ahead and put the plugs back in. If y'all remember where they was. Alright, so like I said, transmission was straight up back here.
And the oil is to the side. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Filters or draining as far as the water. I'm gonna go ahead and drain this primary. The one good thing, usually about the Harleys, or what I've noticed, that all the plugs is the same size. So there is the primary plug. Bought this uh, tray. Drain tray, drain, whatever you want to call it, off of Amazon. And the one good thing about it, it holds all three holes at the same time. Don't have to worry about it overfilling. We'll let that drain. Now that went on and finished draining. I've already started it back. Now we just about to tighten it. Now what we, what I'm going to do next is go ahead and fill the transmission up. <laughs> I do the oil last. That's the one thing I like about red line kit. Comes with everything. Like I said, I don't need this filter. I'll sell it, give it away, do whatever. Uh, but here it is, the complete fuel system cleaner. Come with a funnel. Already got one over there, don't need it. There's the oil. Here's the primary. So I can go ahead and leave that out. Here's the transmission. Leave that out. Should be the rest of the oil. And they send your hat too if you in the hats. Send your hats in, I think it's stickers down there. So like I said, we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna get the funnel. Transmission goes right in here. So I'm gonna use that one right there for the oil. I mean, for the transmission. Are the same ones. It don't fit in perfectly, but so I use the red one for the oil, and that's how I keep track of it. Like I said, it's just what works for me. So we're gonna pour that in, get that stuck back down in there, and I just take my time and go slow with it. All right, we pour that transmission fluid in. Got the plug started. I've already checked it. I always check it also to make sure it's topped off and where it's supposed to be. I'll show y'all real quick. Just make sure it's up to the level it should be. Or I might get my son out here to hold it up on his side, but uh, get the stand or get him, and I'm gonna do that primary. Now I got my son out here to help. So instead of me pulling out the, uh, the jack, these are T27s. Take them all out. Found this easier to do with it on the stand or somebody holding it up right. Because if you don't, it will. This whole kit off of Amazon with all the funnels. Then we just pour it in, whole bottle. Check the gasket, everything looks good. Now I'll just put all the screws back in. And the primary's done. So I'm gonna take it over there, reattach it to the bike, back there to the bike. All right, we got that filter put back on. Now what I do, and I'm pretty sure it's the way it's recommended, I put four and a half quarts in. I will, I got somewhere to be today, so I'm not gonna do it today, but I'm going to, before I ride it in, crank it, let it run for a little bit, then check it just to make sure we're still good. 
I know with the ultra cool system, if I remember correctly, you're supposed to run a little bit more oil in it. Red line is the 2050. And I do all three holes every 5,000 miles. Haven't had an issue even since building the motor, having a motor built. But yeah, I do it every 5,000 miles, put it in the owner's manual so it tracks. All right, we got done with the oil change. So I wanted to show y'all how to reset the distance to maintenance. What you do, you go to accessory. On mine, I got it changed over to CVO. As soon as that powers up, Press and hold the power button, usually for about uh, 15 seconds. We'll see. All right. You wait until that screen popped up. You go down to reset. Mileage reset. Hit yes. Now, of course, that's how you get into it, like a service mode. There's a lot more right there that you can calibrate and change and stuff like that. I'm not going to worry about any of it, but that's how you reset the mileage. And then if you go there to my motor, zero miles. So that's how you reset it. So when you do any service, uh, you reset it there. That way you can keep track of how far you've traveled since the last oil change. DIY video on a three hole or a change. That was the oil, the primary, and the transmission. Thanks for tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.